I will destroy you with logic. I will destroy you with logic. You will never win an argument because you're dumb. Okay. Hey, Natter. I'm not mad. I don't think about you actually anymore. God, his simps are so pathetic. Call the cops on her for what? Jojo, you're stupid. Another idiot. Yeah. Sorry, you sleep naked in- Oh my god. This guy was just- Okay, so by that logic, I don't fuck Pete's then. So what, I can't live with Pete's though? So I can't live with Pete's? No, but you just eat her pussy. You don't fuck her, you just eat her. You just eat her. Everyone spam, he ate her gray cat. Put gray cats in- Put cat emojis. You own- You don't screw her, but you only- And this coward has me blocked in his chat, so I can't even defend myself. You ate her gray cat, but you won't screw her. I don't screw my friends. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> address it! You ate her out, address it. Please, the way you say things so casually has me dying. <laughs> oh, fuck! I can't be angry. How can I be angry at this idiot? <laughs> Violins for Robert Whitaker. Oh, you sleep in the bed with the person you're fucking and you lied to me about it for a year. And you had the nerve to be abusive in between all that and then you wonder why I have a problem? Own your shit. How about that? And stay out of it, Dee Dee Doo Doo Lulu. I can't even fucking, couldn't even voice video chat him without your, my slippers shuffling in the background. Lurch. Jesus, she answers the door like Lurch, too. Right? Welcome to Lachine! <laughs> I hope you like eating at the Y. No, I don't. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> God. Fuck. I can't. <laughs> I want to throw something at the TV sometimes. She put you on timeout. It was probably Jennifer from the well. Where's Dark Desert Highway with the insults about her? Brijanette. <laughs> right, Brijanette. He'll know he's going to the mental hospital. Brijanette. B R I G. <laughs> I swear he needs to go to Brijanette. She must have so much time on her hands between working those case files and the FBI. Watch Chantel, she's mad. I'm not even mad. Like, literally not mad. You're s more sick in the head, you have narcissistic personality disorder, and you're fucking abusive and you need help. Oh. Yeah, time for bed after calling me a cunt, you fucking asshole. Have anything else to lie about? I want you to sue me. Please. Please. Bitch, he literally started the stream talking about me, you dumb idiot. Like, oh my god, I can't with these people. They're so dumb. They're so dumb. I can't. I can't deal with this fucking shit. I can't look at his fucking ugly face anymore. Like, I literally hate his guts. Like, if anything, I'm so, like, unaffected. Oh, yeah, I gotta wait for the fucking dishwasher. I'm so unaffected by him, like, I don't care. Whatever, fuck him. Come here! Uh, excuse me. Oh, I just gotta wait for the dip. Why don't I put it on extra cycle? Now I gotta wait for that shit! <laughs> I'm so tired. And maybe because he's a fucking asshole, maybe I will fucking take him to court. If he wants to be like that, I could probably go tomorrow and get an a, a order for him not to talk about me again. I could probably do that, no problem. He can't do that for me. What have I done to him? Literally nothing. <laughs> like, he's so stupid. And he's so full of shit. He really, he probably real. oh, uh, anyway. Whatever. <clears throat> I'm the one who cut it off. I'm the one who denied the apartment on the first. I'm the one who stopped looking for apartments. I'm the one who made the decision to move on with my fucking life. And now that you, I took that power away from you, you feel like you're entitled to something. You feel like he made the comment that like, oh, this, we've already, there's so much shit already. Everything is already fucked online. 
like to just stop now like so he wants me to make things right fix it fix it i'm not fixing shit i didn't do anything to break anything you fix it fuck that i did nothing oh Dee, Dee she sent me lots of messages you sent me messages too and you know what? I've stopped sending you messages. So have fun proving a harassment case. You think calling you a dumb bitch is and, and hurting your feelings months ago is going to get you a case? You're dumb. You literally sent me a message at 3 in the morning. Woke me up harassing me. Taunting me. Desperate, simping Dee Dee. Who will never be anything except for a meager employee at C.H. Robinson. If that, because you actually almost got fired. Why? Are you going to blame that on me? No, you even told me because Natter made you on company time do a stupid call that you regret. If I regret anything in life, it's doing that phone call for you. Really? Really? It sticks and stones, honestly. If I was a judge, I would look at her and be like... Excuse me? So, Dee Dee, I know you think you're smarter than me, but you're not. Oh, sorry. Is my pee thick? Goodbye, Louise. Stalk How am I stalking him? He literally just did a fucking live stream about me. And I wasn't talking about him at all. <sighs> I didn't send thousand text messages. It wasn't that many. Bring it on, biatch. What prize is she winning? This man that you do everything for lives in your house, disrespects your house, sleeps with me in your $4,000 purple bed, which is forever tainted. Leeches off of you, won't claim you, won't even admit that he slept with you, and you're sending me cryptic love you to love me, Selena. Girl, the fuck up. You make me sick. Ugh. How can anyone stand you in their life is beyond me? Ugh, Jesus Christ. And then him, he's even worse. Don't worry, I hate him more. My pee sounds like maple syrup. It's diabetes pee. Hi, Sam. They're still trying to act like I know. Don't even, don't even go there. She did insert herself. Is she crazy? Sam. What are you doing, Sam? What are you doing? What are you doing? So what does the song mean? Ask her what it means. I'd like to know. Not that I give a shit. Believe me, I'm beyond the freak. I'm beyond. I've when I came over many times and I seen the lube lid off of the jumbo size fucking Costco lube. I knew he was plowing you in the butt. Okay, I'm not dumb. <sighs> Fuck, I hate them. He sounds like a little girl. Did you hear that? You're gonna take that. Well, actually, we didn't know if he was a boy or a girl, so who knows? Right? Nobody knows. Nobody knows your pink nose. It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh, yes. Uh... <laughs> you wanna cook beige legs? Oh. Another night of no sleep for do desperate doo doo. What? What? You fucked two women over, used two women. Now you can deal with the consequences of it. You have no one to blame but yourself. So the next time you think you're gonna come on stream and shit talk me, I will be reporting it after tonight. So have fun. Yes, that's right, isn't it, Sam? Yes, that's right, 
isn't it, Sam? <laughs> he is sweet, thank you. You said what? <laughs> so sweet. No, she doesn't have more energy. Why do you think she looks like there's a fucking picture of her rotting in an attic somewhere? She needs her sleep too. Her fucking liver looks like a piece of friggin' Natter's beef leather. I'm sure. Mine too, though, but... <laughs> <laughs> that they're gonna get into bed and continue this live in bed of course of course because now that I'm really cutting it off with him he's, his, his mask is gonna slip and I can't wait to see it he's gonna be all yeah we're fucking now he's probably gonna fuck her on camera just to affect me watch and she's gonna sit there with her legs open like she did like a good little Dee Dee right off of company time just to please him. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Sam. Yeah. He said that to me. First thing he asked me. Did you screw Cuba? I'm gonna fuck someone right in front of you. Yeah, okay. Go for it. Like I'll ever let you get close to me in person again. Never. When did Monday Night Vodka become a thing? I don't know. It's not in my house. Or wait, did I drink yesterday? Yeah, I did. I'm not drinking anymore. They turned me off of booze. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mom said he looks like a friggin', friggin' psychopath. There's no way. My mom said he looks like a swordfish. There's no way she would touch him with a ten-foot pole. Fuck. Good luck. Good luck! Give me a break. Hama would never sleep with me. But you would? So you're saying... So you? What does that say about you, Natter? You literally... Oh, I sounded like her. No. <laughs> you literally have sex with me when I see you like 10 times a day and you're all up in the fuba so for you to now sit there and be like it's gross buffalo buffalo you sure loved riding this buffalo every night you fuck you know what you should move back to Calgary and take friggin bronco friggin bull riding you're pretty good at it No, I didn't lie to him, Nico. I said I slept with... Yes, I did. When, when he asked me, he called me. First thing he asked me, do you fuck somebody in Cuba? Yeah, I did. And I dare you to give me shit for it. That's what I said. I dare you. I said, you live and you sleep with Dee Dee every night, you fucker. You know what he said to me right then and there? I never fuck Dee Dee, you stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. Oh my god, I'm at their level. Why? I fucking wish I never met you. I wish. Honestly, this is one instance. I don't know, though. I would be a different person if I never met him. You were a good lesson for me, unfortunately. <sighs> Bad love or a good lesson. Of course he's gonna say that. Do you want me to show you the messages of all the apartments? Oh my god, like he's literally like... What? What? It's <laughs> called... <laughs> he said you lied about the apartment hunting and that it never happened. You came over and begged to be friends with him. Just like that time he made me apologize. She came over begging to talk to me. 
Meanwhile, he's already got the tuna steaks ready to go. Wine glass, fucking media kit all set up. Just uh, happened just right now. The media kit just went, oh, Natter's live. I'm just going to go set myself and clip myself to the trap house fucking table. Here we go. No, it doesn't happen that way. Excuse me. He said the only person to make me happy was him. You're the only person to make me miserable. You're the only person that made me this miserable. You make me completely miserable. You make me hate my life. What? Okay, I can pull out the messages to Dee Dee, actually. I have messages from Dee Dee. I can screenshot it right now. It says, she even thanks me for, for congratulates us on finding an apartment. And she's the one who came up with the term, what happens in Lachine stays in Lachine. You cannot shut someone up from talking about things that happen. If you really, really don't want people to talk about something that happened, then don't fucking do it. You reported it to the FBI? You reported it to Jennifer Corfina? Why do people think Dee Dee baked lasagna? What is this comment? <laughs> he said he loves Dee Dee's prosthetic legs because they're cold. What? What's he doing? My house was only clean because of him. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to make fun of me now for things that you had no problem with whenever you were with me? You're a loser. And no, I wasn't with you when you got this haircut. So, broccoli head. <laughs> he even defended that. I heard him on my way home today. I went, when I was driving, I heard him go. So, this is my haircut, and I like it. And I did it myself, and I, lo I love it. Whatever. Why are you wearing a hat, then? Why can't you just admit something? Like, you have to be contrary, even if you look ridiculous. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And it makes him mad that he looks ridiculous, but you're only making yourself ridiculous. Are you making yourself mad? What are you even mad about? <laughs> Fuck. Like, why? You're out of snacks? I'm out of snacks. <laughs> oh, is that me, W? He's mad because he, yeah, broccoli feathers. <laughs> I sent Hamo the picture of Natter on... <laughs> no, you're supposed to send me on the sex chair. He's going to go, what the fuck, is that a fuba? Fuba lift. He's mad when you, yeah, princess, yeah. He was a barber in jail. Well, a comb over is easy to do. That's usually an old man hair. It probably does Dee Dee's hair. <laughs> Holly, enough of the green bean. Fucking shit, man. Anyways. I feel like watching... I've been watching... I've been binge watching Anna Solves. I really like those channels. About Talk about real crime. Goodbye, Nico. Yes, I've seen the title of his life. He's mad because I said Ham was cute. Anna Solves is a moron, really? What? Why? Okay, what are some good crime channels then? I don't know. I like how they're just like easy to follow, I guess, with her. How could how cool would it be if he wore that blonde kitten wig you have? They would be twins. <laughs> Oh, fuck. How is he planning to move in with you and lie about you? I asked him that. He's like, one step at a time. No. Yeah, for you, it's not a big deal to friggin' move out of Dee Dee's. You have nothing to lose. 
I have a lot to lose. So yes, I'm going to be extra cautious when I'm signing a fucking lease for somebody who cheats on me every day, treats me like shit, denies me, calls me a buffalo, calls me a cunt. Fuck you. Suck my balls. Mr. Ballin. Who's Anna Potato? Cashy Star. Yeah, I do watch her. <laughs> Commissary Noodles. <laughs> Maybe he was going to make you get it then change the locks. How can he do that if I'm legally owning, if I'm renting it? I can kick his ass out any day. If I'm on the lease, goodbye. And I would, too. Don't think I wouldn't. <clears throat> he said he helped you lose 70 pounds. Yes, he did. Yep. Well, yeah. I mean, I ate the food he cooked, yeah. But he cooked, I helped him with his videos, and I paid for all that food. So where's my thanks? You helped me, yes, you cooked the food, I paid for the food, and I filmed you cooking it. Do you see what I mean? It's not never two-sided. It's never, he never takes any ownership in anything. It's always just, that's what, that's the thing that really started making me see, like, oh, okay. I literally, literally was so delusional. I thought that we would go live together and be like, okay, we're really in love. That's why we can't stay away from each other. And we're back together. We worked it out. We know, like, I was actually that delusional. No, he doesn't want to fucking have anything to do with me. Oh. Or you're out there now. <laughs> I wonder who would call. No, I don't want to do that. I don't know. Yeah, I think their shit don't stink exactly. He even said that. When he farts, he's like, it doesn't smell. What do you think you are, a god? Yeah, sorry, I don't. shouldn't ask you that. Megalomaniac, fucking 101. Look that up. Megalomaniac. I'm sure your new girlfriend knows a little thing or two about words. She's a secretary or whatever. She's resourceful. And yeah, you helped me loot what? Yeah. Yeah. And the cocaine helped. Yep. Too. Yep. That helped. She gets confused. <laughs> he thinks the world owes him something. That's one thing I learned real fast when I was raging and friggin crying and acting entitled in Cuba because I couldn't find a plug. The world doesn't owe you shit. Really. The world doesn't even give a shit about you, really. That's one cold, hard reality. The world is indifferent of you and your feelings and your ego. The world gives two shits about you. So you need to... Oh, anyway. He will argue about it being blue. It's periwinkle, dum dum. <laughs> Realize whenever you have nothing to offer are the times he doesn't want to be around. It's, yeah, it's not that he, no, but that's the thing. It's, he doesn't, he's never said he doesn't want to be around or anything. It's like he, he always wants to be around. That's the problem too. <laughs> it's like, hey, I need space. Fuck, go to bed. Take an edible. And I guess even, like, it was weird with money, because I guess I would, wouldn't would think, I guess I would have moments where I didn't think he was, like, only about money, because he would, o like, he would always, like, always be like, you know, I'm going to pay back, or or sometimes he would say things like, um, what would he say? Oh, I've lost my train of thought. He would, he would, he would worry about me spending money, like, you you spend your money on too many things, or... I would be like, let's go get a Nashi. And he would be, he would say things like, 
no, I'm going to cook something here. What do you want? You know, like, do you want to put in? Like he would, he would, he wouldn't want me to spend money on stupid shit. So he was worried about that. Like he, he, he actually like showed some sort of caring to me, like some sort of like effort just enough that it made me feel like, yeah, okay. He's serious about building something. He's worried about my finance. He's worried about my money. Yeah, exactly. He probably just like, you know, like if you're together, then yeah, you're, you know, you're going to share money. That's probably what he thought, you know? He doesn't like eating food that's not his own, really. I noticed that. <laughs> of course, right? I know, Abby. Uh, control and manipulation. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, I know. But that, I'm saying, like, that's what... that's In my delusional mind, I would see those things as... Like, at the beginning. Right from the beginning, if I watch my stream, I see these red flags and I say, Well, he's sort of aggressive and he's not... You know, I don't think we're going to get on... And I'm, but those are like red flags and like I just completely just like chose to ignore them because I don't, I don't, I thought it was like, okay, it's not going to get worse than this. Like I always thought it's not going to get worse than this. It's not going to get worse than this. It's not going to get worse than this. And it always, I don't know, like for it not to be bad, I have to walk on eggshells all the time, you know? And I, I just, it's so stressful for me. Like he doesn't get it. He does not get it. I cannot explain the anxiety I feel like I don't know and it makes him mad when I'm honest about my feelings like this like whatever you know I'm good to you blah 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 no you're really like like you don't listen to me when I tell you I have a problem so like if you don't listen to me like so I would come online and talk to my beezers about it you know the smallest things like what the cutting the cheese and not in perfect squares um he would just fly off the handle like it's almost like he would make up things to fly off the handle about like that title he did tonight like his live stream tonight triggered that negative like that's why I guess it affected me because like it made me feel like when he used to do that stuff like when we were like together he would always like like we were in person together he would always like find little things like if he, he was in a bad mood he would take it out on me like he would find reasons like and what you don't, yeah, you don't, you know. So, what did Pete say about me the other day? Eh? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he would find reasons to just like shit on me. And like the bed not being made properly. Like, one time I, he's like, help me make the bed. So, I helped him make the bed, like military style. I folded the sheet back. There was a little piece of the sheet sticking out on my side. And he's like, this is not how you make a bed, eh? And I was like, is there anything else you want to shit on me for today? And, like, for me, that would make me cry, and I would get emotional, because, and like, and then the person I would want to turn to for comfort for that would fucking be fucking super fucking asshole to me about it. You know? Like, I can't. Oh, my God. Just shut up and leave. That like the way he talks to me. Like, I I can't handle when men yell at me. I hate it. Like it just cre. I don't know if I was screamed at. I think I was screamed at maybe as a kid. I don't know if I heard too much yelling. I don't know where that anxiety comes from. But when I hear a man raise his voice to me, I just fucking. I just I I. Uh, my anxiety just like. Yeah, Juhani. Yep. Sorry, I'm just reminiscing. Okay, Wowzer, I don't know. Really basic basis. Like I see so many people say that Didi's a stalker. I didn't see it.
All I know is they've both made me feel like I just the amount of times I've questioned my like sanity like when I know I had a reason to be upset, you know. Dee Dee will stop this behavior once you start. She, I don't know. She must not feel the same way about him. He's in court ordered anger management like for the second time right now because he didn't finish the first time. Blamed it on me not being able to make it to his course. I'm like, you're a fucking grown man. Like, why are you putting all this pressure on me? I only knew you for a few months. And I'm, like, coming in and expected to clean up your entire life? That you fucked up? No. That's not fair to put on me. Never was. And I should have seen it a long time ago. Exactly, Kit Kat. He lies. He, when he's caught in his lie, he just tells more lies. Like. Mm, she's more nuts. I can't even put up with him for more than two days. Mm. I don't know. She chose to pursue Natter and went through all this trouble knowing he's a public person on YouTube. Like, what the fuck? Go through all that? Avoid the camera? She's a joke. And we have to hear her marble mouth every fucking live stream. Well, I don't watch them anymore because she, like, tr they, just their voice triggers me now. Like, I can't. <clears throat> I seriously am not subscribed to him. He was like slapping on you on live. I know. He could be rough, like playful rough too though. Like he's rough playful, like when I was at Dee Dee's, like he doesn't treat Dee Dee like that really, but he he'll like he does it. He'll slap this part or slap my head or just like try to pick me up or we were both sitting, like, we'd sit side by side on the couch. Because he was, like, affectionate at that point. Like, I don't get, that's what I don't get. Like, when I came over, he, like, hugged me and he kissed me. And I felt like he missed, like, he actually missed me. And, um, he, like, whispered to me, he's like, seven weeks. It was, like, seven weeks. He was, like, counting since he slept with me last. And then that night he was just being kind of playful, but like rough, like tomboyish rough. Like we had some drinks and he like grabbed me back and I like hit my head really hard on the couch. And I'm not blaming him for this. It was an accident, but I hit my head so hard. I almost, I honestly almost thought I almost passed out and I'm like, I'm going to have a concussion. It was like on the corner of her couch, like the leather part of her couch. And she was like, God, Natter, fuck. Like she was worried about my head. And he was like, there's nothing wrong with it. And he used to bite my roll on my head. He would bite my roll on my head. So, like, there were moments. Like, I know you guys think it's, like, stupid and not affectionate. Or the little gray cat. Like, I think in his own way. Like, I don't know if he just, like, half-assed or if that's how he is. Like, I don't feel like he's capable of showing any women affection. Like, I just don't think he's like that as a person. Do you know what I mean? Willful ignorance, maybe. That's what I had to... I think I did that for sure, yeah. But yeah, he's usually more affectionate when he's drunk, of course. He's so affectionate when he's drunk, oh my god. Yeah. So am I, though. <laughs> well, sometimes, but... It's flat out mean. Yes, he liked to do that. I don't know why. He would just randomly put my head like this. He would make, like, he does that, like, with the slapping. Well, he would, like, <laughs> he would come over to me, make me go like this, and then he would, like, go and bite the roll on my head. On the back of my head, he would bite it. <laughs> like, just nibble it. Like, sm 
Because like, one time I was like, if you love me, you're going to nibble the fat roll on my head. And he would look at it and he went, with his eyes? <laughs> and then he did it. He bit it. with In front of Didi. It was at Didi's house. And then ever since then, he would bite my roll. So I, he would do things like that to make me feel like he did love me. That's a form of dominance in dogs. <laughs> He's biting the scruff of my neck. Yes. That's what I thought. That, that little things like that made me feel like... You know, travel bees, yes. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter because, uh, like he always likes to say, actions speak louder than words, right? So, stop trying to make it cute. Well, those are the moments, Leo Queen, that I, cl I would cling to, you know? I roll biting. Tell him if he loves you by a ring. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just, no, no. I could never imagine all the raging and being, ma actually being married, like, the raging and the alcohol and the fucking, no way. I don't want that life, man. Uh-uh. I know, I need to change my standards of love. And I ha am seeing it, Vicky, like, it doesn't scream love. No, I'm not back with him. But... The way that the motorcycle guy treats me is so different and it's I just feel a different energy like Nander's energy is so intense and like opposite. No. He'll probably propose to Didi to piss him off. <laughs> He'll go start a whole family just to get back at me. Oh what the fuck? I have no doubt he would, in an instant, if a super fucking hot chick, like, someone like Carly was like, I want to have babies right now and I have a lot of money. He would be like, bye! <laughs> I'm not stupid. And <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on, I'm not that dumb. And I'm not a dumb person, and I'm not gonna... I, I'm not. I just really feel like I just let myself get manipulated easily no Abby no because I could be in an apartment with him right now and you're right number one fan like I was like how are you gonna like explain that we live together we would have to yeah. as long as we don't ask questions I guess <laughs> number one fan <laughs> <laughs> it's sad but true I know I'm not dumb there's nothing I can control about that situation so you know what I could do is maybe there's dating sites or find a man in a dating site like I can't have kids and there are men who cannot have kids and who might want to adopt someday I'm not saying that's what I want to do, but maybe, you know, there are people out there. So why am I getting down on myself? You know, there's a lot of people who can't have kids and live a fulfilling fucking life. <sighs> when you collab with Nick at Heart Attack Grill, you're going to go viral. I think I'm too messy for Nick. <laughs> I don't think he wants to fuck with me. He chooses prey that he thinks is easy to time on. Yeah, true. Yeah, he wouldn't try it with Carly. He thinks I- he's so mad, he still brings up. He thinks I had sex with Carly and Josh. Like, excuse me? <sighs> yeah, maybe, bad seed. I, I think it's just like- I'm just looking for any, like, type of affection from him. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not gonna talk about him anymore. No, I'm not. I wasn't going to. I didn't talk about him. So, this is on you, pal, because you started this. Your live stream is about me, but no. He's going to blame it on me. Watch. The man that loves you won't care. It's true. It's true. He's jealous. He wants to. I know. 
I can't have kids and my life is great now that I've learned my worth and how to love myself and demand proper treatment. Yeah. I swear. I don't know basic. You're going to have to ask him that. He says he found it on the ground. I don't know. I just saw the bottle and the thing and I was like, what is this? Learn Spanish, open your heart. Yes. Yeah, Vicky, true. So, and men can have kids in forever. I mean, you know, it's the women who... You will get their love. Keep moving forward. I feel like I moved backwards tonight by addressing him. Me gusta los huevos verdes. He's obviously... I, I, I don't understand his motivation, I guess. Like, is he actually angry about his brother or is there like other reason is he mad about the apartment or is he mad about see basically since I talked about shit about him now or whatever like outed him now he anything to do with me he will deny thanks Cass yeah He's losing control. He's lost it. Desi, love you. Ready, set, rebies. Thank you. I love you too, Desi. Didn't you compliment his brother on a live together with him? Yes! See? Thank you. I did. He's holding that over your head. He doesn't even care if you sleep with anyone because he doesn't care about you. It's just games for him. Because, like, literally the first thing he asked me. You, sleep, you have sex in Cuba? Yeah, you know I did. Why do you even care? Like... <laughs> Just a control tactic. You're right. It's like, because he can do whatever he wants, right? But me, no. You can live with Dee Dee and go down on her like she's a tuna filet from Madonna's. And meanwhile, I get to have no fun? Are you kidding? You don't, you think I'm actually going to listen to you? You're crazy. I don't listen to anybody. Thank you. Ow. That's rent payment. <laughs> Whatever. Good night. Goodbye. Hopefully not to be t Are they still alive? You white rabbit, you don't even know. Not all men know, but in theory, they can have kids later than women. That's a biological fact. I'm not even like vindictive or like vengeful against him I don't I just want him to leave me alone like I just want us to leave each other alone 
He targets vulnerable women. He didn't realize you had a Beezer army. I have a Beezer army. He didn't realize this. My butt's a G. Oh, yeah. Oh, sometimes a butt scratch is the best thing in the world. Oh. Oh. Pink eye. <laughs> sometimes, Abby, that's true. One of the Beezer army took him in. Well, I'm sure she'll regret that. Punishment enough. Yeah, no, that's not going to help me, but it can help some women, I guess. I don't know. Your hours to troll and protect. Thank you. In the Durzen universe, <laughs> willful ignorance. Hi, Echo. Hello. Jurassic Park fossils. <laughs> what? It doesn't like Pete's because Pete's got an apartment with you, unlike him. This tea is not helping my stomach. Oh no. What's wrong with your stomach? Hi, Melly D. Well, Vegas doll, it's funny you say that. He's already kind of winning my heart a little bit because he's so sweet. He's sweet and kind and I need that right now in my life. I don't need somebody abrasive and jumping on counters and fucking everything else. I need someone calm, collected like me. I'm just kidding. I'm a mess though. I gotta watch it. I wanna be f I wanna be a good partner too to people, right? So I have to like learn how to love myself, I guess. I mean I do. I must have some self respect. I change your mind. I know, it drives me nuts. Who else are we talking about? Oh no, this new guy. We're talking about a new guy. Yeah, Jew honey, I know. She wasn't a true Beezer. No. I'm the only person who can give you Beezer status. If you are not a Beezer. <laughs> Tom Cruise couch jumper. Yes! Kind, yeah. 